Hey, what's going on guys? It's Preston here, back with another episode of the Minecraft Faction Series here on CosmicPvP.com. You guys can check out the IP down below in the description. And in the background, we have the very lovely and talented Pro420 just sitting away grinding blazes. I've actually been here grinding blazes for about an hour and a half. I was in a call with the, the very handsome and lovely Choker the Chocobo. And while I was in a call with him, I was like, you know what? I've got nothing better to do but really sit here and grind blazes. So I grinded all the way back up to 200 levels. We just didn't really get anything good out of yesterday's enchanting episode. We got a few decent books, the best one being like the Bleed 5 book that we sold for 450k. But other than that, I feel like we just really got let down with the amount of books that we opened up and what we got. And then we got zero drunk for. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing some more enchanting, hopefully some armor creation. And honestly, who really knows throughout the day? Usually I hop on factions and I film a little bit of bits and pieces like here and there. So if, there, you know, if there's like a raid going on or like PvP action or like whatever's going on, usually I just kind of like do little bits and pieces here and there and then throw it together in my editing software and bam that's like a factions episode so i've actually filled up all of these by myself i filled up four double chests and then pro came online and he wanted to do some grinding and i wanted to keep the uh you know all the blaze rods in here and sell them on camera for you guys so these four right here are going to be the pros and these edge ones are the ones that i've already filled up and i've actually filled up some in my inventory and also some like just literally in my pvs so this is going to be kind of crazy so right now i want to check out our balance and i'm actually going to with draw that amount because I just want to see how much money we can make with like an hour-ish of grinding because that's about how long oh no way no way there's an envoy right now hold on we gotta do this we gotta do this all right I got my fly enabled oh dude people get here to planes so fast for envoys it makes no sense like look at this I just got here as it says there was an envoy happening and there's almost zero chests to be found anywhere I mean I'm literally not seeing anything right here you get Look at this. It's just crazy how fast people can suck up the chest. I mean, they're all gone. They're literally all gone. There's none left. Zero. And I mean, I just I just can't believe this. You guys on the weekends are here grinding like crazy. It's actually really awesome to see. I've got mad props for you guys out there who are spending your time grinding and whatnot. I actually want to check out Warp Hills just in case we can find a straggling chest or two. I would love to have some gear to PvP people. We did make it so that you can't do slash TP except whenever you're in combat. That way, like if you're trying to have a one-on-one -on -one fight versus somebody like in the war zone or maybe at their faction base then they can't warp people to you while they're mid combat because that's kind of cheap right like that's not really fair it could turn like a one versus one into a one on ten like it's just not really like i don't think it's really cool so we decided to change that but no envoy chests were found today unfortunately so we've got to sell all of these blaze rods right now if i look at my balance i should have yeah seven cents in there basically nothing so if we do sell all get rid of all that gets oh and we even have a little bit of experience bottles in here i got from the enchanter i'm gonna throw those down not a whole lot of stuff but but hey, I've been kind of like grinding and doing envoys like all day. And sometimes from envoys, you could get like some kind of like meh gear. But if you give it to the Cosmic Tinkerer, I've probably gotten over 50k XP from just like salvaging gear that I don't even want. And, you know, just letting the Tinkerer have it. Because like the Tinkerer can have my gear. I mean, if it's pretty poop gear, I don't really care about it. I want to be careful not to suck up all of TB's, or sorry, not TB, but the pros blaze rods. They kind of like getting here a little bit as I'm selling these. So right now, we check out our balance. We made over $430,000 from just blaze rod. So if you calculate that, it's like right now, yeah. We've got a lot of blaze spawners. I mean, we've got we've got a, we've got like 30 in there from all the rating we've done, but that's really not like too ridiculous from some of the factions on our server have way more like 100 plus blaze uh, spawners and it's freaking nuts. So, from an hour of grinding, maybe a little bit longer, maybe it's like an hour and 50 minutes, we made over 400k from the blaze rods. You could probably sell this XP for like if it's like what 825 for 15,000, you could probably even go up a little bit more if you wanted to. Like, you could make some serious cash. You could probably make $2 million off of, like, 100,000 XP. Maybe not quite that much, but you can make a pretty good amount per hour on factions from just grinding blazes. And it's, I don't know, it's just really cool to do and explore, like, the different ways to make income on factions. Also, we actually have a little bit of extra blaze rods in here. So, technically, we made closer to $460,000 from those blaze rods, which is pretty freaking hype. So, while Pro is in here, actually, no, we gotta warp to the nether. You guys know the drill right now. If you don't go to the nether and do your books, it's just a sad day right now. We're gonna go to the enchanter and see what we could get out right here okay or in, in or, or or i can misspell it that also works too and i'm just doing all ultimate enchant books i think we can get like 20 something here 22 ultimate enchant books oh man i gotta get some hype right now in the chat about to explore what is, is what is it called about to open about to open times 22 ultimate books Wish me luck. There's gonna be so many people in my enemy factions that I've raided. They're like, no, we don't want to wish you luck. You suck. <laughs> I actually get that a lot in the chat right now. It's 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 kind of funny. So guys, 
Wish me some luck. Let me some of your support down below in the comments right now. I'm about to leave a like down below on this episode. I would love to see some support right now. Yeah, look at this guy. He's like F global. This guy's like very happy. Anybody who's really enemy to me is like, yeah, they're not really happy. Teaming our frags with what? With that mob aura. Yeah, okay, dude. So look, Mayhem over here. I guess they made a second alt faction. I don't know, man. Mayhem love ripping into us. It's super funny. But it's it's lovely banter, honestly. It's just a game. No big deal. So I'm gonna open up actually two of these at a time. I love how everybody just knows as soon as I'm opening up books to come to warp nether because we usually do this on our episodes so let's just do this i'm going straight into it right now opening up two at a time let's do this and our first two are gonna be oh inquisitive three cleave six. Oh man those are some pretty good books man I mean, cleave six is not the highest. You can get up to cleave seven, but look at this. Okay, I'm gonna item these in the chat. That is that is not bad. Let's get some items going on in here because like this is not too bad for my first two books. Gonna item both of these little bad boys right here. Not too bad, okay? And then, oh, you can only do it every now and then. First two books, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and item this one now. And okay, sweet, sweet. All right, now we're gonna go into the next two. Three, two, one, boom, boom. And, okay, Obsidian Shield. Oh, oh, 64% success. Not too bad. We could probably sell this for maybe like 100, 150k. The Arrow Life Soul 3, though, I'm probably going to go ahead and put that like up here. Any book that I don't want to keep, I think I'm just going to like stick up here. And then we're going to know which ones to give off to the Enchanter. Okay, going into our next two. And what are they going to be? Arrow Life Soul 5 and Arrow Life... No way. The Arrow Life Soul 1 book is 100%. And then the Arrow Life Soul 5... <laughs> just so happens to be 24 <laughs> percent oh no i'm gonna have to say right now guys i gotta salvage that oh facky <laughs> thank you for the 69 dollar note dude <laughs> okay all right going into the next wave in three two and one oh with her five yes oh yeah that's a good book that is a really good book for armor yes that makes me so happy right now oh Baby, all right, guys, seriously, we need some hype right now in the comments. Like, come on, we need to get a drunk four book. We need to get at least one. I still, this entire season, have never gotten a drunk four book. Like, come on, let's go, boys. Let's freaking do this. All right, going into our next wave right now. I'm feeling hype, feeling pumped. Let's freaking do this. Three, two, one, and let's go. Oh, man. Pickaxe enchantments, but experience four, man. I mean, that's a 99. We are getting some really, really good success rates like this is freaking crazy the amount of success rates we're getting right now i'm putting all this gear over here i don't know i've got who gave me frozen two pants who gave me these for okay i'm giving that right now to the actually i can give that to the tinker later on all right now we're going on to the next wave we're almost halfway through our books right now all right guys come on let's do this three two one go oh no drunk four both of these guys right here are going straight to the salvage straight to the set okay mentally preparing myself right now mentally preparing myself this is it these are gonna be drunk four books one of these have to be it come on preston three two one pop them up oh drunk one and the arrow life still four is crap as well goodness gracious what is it with me and drunk books can i not get them okay 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 i'm feeling it this time three two one drunk four ah, lucky six. Oh, oh it's got really bad chances not even worth keeping honestly i did put lucky six on these leggings down here because like lucky six isn't bad like it's it's pretty good it's not lucky 10 but hey, Lucky 10, I think like if I don't have Lucky, I'm going to put it on my gear regardless. But that Lucky 6 book was, ooh, that one's a little bit too risky. The one I had yesterday was actually like a pretty good uh, chance rate. Okay, all right. I'm going into the next two and three, two, one, drunk four. Oh, silence four though. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. With, yeah, there we go. That's, that's another item worthy one. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. This one's going to the scrap house though. Going to the scrap house. All right. We've got four left. Come on. Can we get a drunk four book already? I'm sick and tired of dealing with this bullshit. All right. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is it. We have two last and final books right now. Thacky, can you get rid of your note, dude? I'm just trying. How do I always manage to pick that up, too? I don't even know how I managed to pick that up. Okay. <sighs> right now, let's do this. Oh, dude, what is this guy's head? It's, um... <laughs> Is this guy's head supposed to be like that? There's just a random cow on the top of it. Oh, it's like a hood? And then it goes into a cow when he bends over. That's like hilarious, but also kind of terrifying at the same time. Facky, listen, I don't need your $69 notes, dude. I get the reference, okay? Let's do this. The final two books. Drunk four, three, two, one, go! No! Oh, my... Uh.
All right, Faggy, I'll trade you, Faggy. I'll freaking trade you just because of my salt right now. No, Faggy, fine. I'll take you. No, I won't take your notes. I refuse to take your freaking trade outs right now. So out of 22 ultimate books, only five are keepable. But to be fair, some of these books are pretty freaking hype right now. And they've all got above, except for the Obsidian Shield. They all have over, like, what, 85% success rate? So... Not too shabby if I do say so myself, but all of these little guys right here, yeah, these guys are all going into the scrap pile right now for the Tinker. Come here, Mr. Tinker. I know you're feeling hungry right now. Hope you're feeling hungry because I got a lot of books to feed you right now. Now, if I look at this, I want to make sure I'm not putting anything in there that's actually good. I've almost done that before. I've almost put like something really good. I almost put my Drunk 4 book in here, and if I would have salvaged that, oh my gosh. I would have been so, so sad, Panda. But nope, looks like everything in here is A-OK. -okay. Now, this is the time where we need some ultimate dust. First one, pop. Second one, pop. Third one, pop. Fourth one, pop. Fifth, fifth. Oh my gosh, dude, those were my good ones. I, no, 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 no. Come on, one of these has got to work. No, no, yes. Oh, oh, it's only a 2% of that worked right there too. Dad it. okay, come on. No, yes, yes. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Right there. There we go. We had some big plays right there. We've got 1-5% to 2%. So we've got a total of 10% in our dust right here. If we wanted to boost something up, I mean, I probably might think about boosting this Wither 5 up because Wither 5 is hype. We've got Wither 2 on these legs, but... I mean, these got Enlightened 3 Overload. These are really good leggings. So I'm going to say right now, I'm going to boost up this little guy up to 100%. And yeah, there you go. Wither 5. Boom. Popping that on the leggings right now. And holla back, y'all. Wither 5 on the leggings. That is sick. From Wither 2 to Wither 5, just like that. Very, very nice addition. By the way, don't worry. This is not my hat. This is actually Vivar's. Don't worry. I'm not keeping this. This is a freaking incredibly sick hat. But I was just using it because it had glowing on whenever we were trying to do some raids and stuff like that. I still can't believe all of that freaking dust just popped like that. Like, that was just... Whew, that was a little bit disheartening, not gonna lie. Kind of disheartening. So right now, is what I'm thinking about doing is finding some buyers for these books. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the dust. I, I just don't wanna sell the dust. The dust is just too good, you know what I mean? Like, don't wanna sell the dust. Let's keep it inside our, oh, you know what we gotta do, actually? We gotta go home to admin shop. I forgot about this, but at the home admin shop, we added in some new items that we can purchase that are actually really helpful for me. Maybe not super helpful for Rob because he already has a rank, but now we've got extra private vaults that you can buy. So right here, we can buy three extra private vaults for $200,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw myself $200,000. And put it in right here. And now, boom sauce. Now we've got access for four PVs. Look at this. PV1, PV2, and PV3. And finally, PV4. It's been such a hassle running off of only one PV. Because I can't keep anything organized. You know what I mean? Like my armor, my tools, like everything. Like I want to put raiding in one area. Like I think for raiding, I think PV2 would be perfect. So like our fishing rod, our creeper eggs, our flint and steel, um, and our TNT. Any of our customized TNT, that is. And I think for tools, it'd be nice to like put everything in a PV3. Three. And then I think like good stuff like as in like good books and whatnot I want to put into PV4 because as much as I trust my allied factions and those guys out there You you can never be too trustworthy. You got to be careful that you do that kind of stuff So I can spread out like all of my dust over here I mean like this is pretty nice having a good clean setup like this is very very hype gonna put all my Let's see is this okay? This is elite dust. We want elite dust underneath the ultimate if we finally get some legendary dust I can put it over here But yeah, we got our ultimate dust right here, and then we've got our let's see our unique Oh, no, we want yeah, we want elite down here. Okay, unique can actually stay up here boom look at this very Oh, actually we can actually put the ultimate books where the ultimate deaths are make it a little bit you know you know me i'm all about that organization lifestyle i'm just i'm a little bit ocd i'm not gonna lie i had a pretty good turnout for the books i was able to sell the silenced four book for about like four hundred thousand. sold the inquisitive three for two hundred fifty thousand, and then the cleave six for a hundred thousand i actually learned that nobody really likes cleave anymore they used to like it a lot back in the day but now it apparently gives knockback so it's kind of like obliterate but on axes so it's not the best enchant to go with so only sold for a hundred thousand dollars but no big deal you know we do, i'm just gonna say this right now we did not make our money back 110 percent did not make our money back so that's why i'm about to open up a legendary drop package and trying to get our money back right now i really just want a white scroll but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm too lazy to pay for it and i totally didn't withdraw a million that was that was yeah one shot for me okay 
But yeah, anyways, I think at the end of the season, by the way, you should probably show off how much money is down there. It's it's kind of crazy. I'm assuming it's crazy. I haven't really seen what's going on down there, but I bet it's pretty freaking awesome. So why don't we go ahead and give ourselves one legendary draw package. See what we can get inside of here. I would love to just get that white scroll just because I don't want to have to go buy one in the AH, which there probably actually is a lot in the AH. Maybe. Oh, somebody's got some... Oh, simple primal dust. Oh, Joe. I'm sorry to see that, my man. And, oh, there's actually... A, ooh. These guys have a lot of dust in here. Like, simple primal... Dude, nobody's gonna buy... It. Even this one right here, this ultimate... This ultimate primal dust is kind of, like, overpriced as well. But nobody likes to be selling any white scrolls. Ooh, simple soul tracker. $200,000. You know, I'm kind of tempted to buy that. I'm not gonna lie and put it on the pleb slayer. Like, that would be really, really sick. But, okay, anyways. All right, so... We got, I'm just sorry, I'm looking at these books, seeing if there's anything good in here that I could use. But like, Featherweight 3, we've already got that. We don't really need it. Aquatic 1, Aquatic's good. Demon Forge 2, already got Demon Forge 4. Ooh, Voodoo 5. That's a pretty freaking good book. Gives a chance to deal weakness. Not bad. But also, we need to get that white scroll. One way or the other, we're getting this white scroll, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but we're getting it. Come on, White Scrolls. If we get a drunk four buck from this chest. <gasps> Ooh, four Creeper Eggs. Already made my money back. Ooh, Rage 5 Sword. Okay, all right. 32 Hoppers and an Axe with Bleed 5. Not too bad. Okay, I'm kind of liking these right now. You know what? I feel kind of lucky. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. If we actually, like, okay, so if we sell the Hoppers for, I think they sell for about 13.5. Five each. I'm not too sure. I haven't sold hoppers in a long time, but $432,000 if you sell them for uh, 13.5 each. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that right now, just, just to see if we could sell those. Just in just in case somebody maybe they're trying to make a new IG farm and they really want some hoppers. I'll just go ahead and pop those in there right now, just just ever so casually. But Rage Five. If this sword could have got like Rage Six on it, oh, I would have used this. You guys could have bet your sweet keister. I would have like tried to black scroll it, and even right now. We could actually try to black scroll it, but it's not rage six, so it's like, you know, like meh. It's I, I just I can't I don't think it's worth it. If we wanted to, we could really tinker the sword, and it would tinker oh for a thousand XP. I don't think that's worth it. That's like ten seconds of grinding blazes. I just can't see that being worth it. But right now we're up in this legendary drop package, so you guys know the drill and gambling. When you're up, of course you gotta gamble some more. Now my balance is only at six hundred sixty-two thousand dollars. Too much gambling, guys. Like way too much gambling. Just been doing way, way, way too much lately here on the Forgotten series. But can we get the white scroll? I just want the white scroll. I just want to white scroll some of my gear. I don't want to have to go buy it. Like, come on, white scroll. Four, dude. What is it with me and these creeper spawn eggs? This oh, and a blaze spawner. Legendary. Oh no. What a sick spread of gear right here. We got the four creeper eggs. That already makes back nearly a mil. We got a blade spawner, 350k, legendary enchant book, already making some money right now, and the white scroll, and the legendary enchant book is gonna be in line three. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, that is so hype. Oh, I gotta item that right now. That is, I, I'm like so happy right now, I'm actually like messing up like every time. Yes, GG, freaking so, oh my god, I dropped it. Go back here. <sighs> Oh, man, if that would have dropped right there, it would have been so sad. Okay. I'm pretty excited right now. I don't know why I opened up PV12. Just, I guess because I can't. Like, why the heck not? All right. So, things are looking up right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty freaking sweet. The books that I want to actually go ahead and try to apply to some of my gear right now. I would like to... Get, I thought I had a good bow. I think I still have a good bow somewhere. I don't know where it is, but all of these books nearly, I kind of want to try to apply. So I'm going to get out all my dust, all my books, and go to home home. Actually, a home vault. That's where we got all of our gear right now. And I think I had a bow in here. I think... See, I know... Oh, I know what happened. I think I got V-clipped in my base and I lost my good bow. Because I remember at one point in time, I had a pretty sick bow on. Like, it wasn't the best, but it was like piercing five. And it was, it was a pretty decent bow. But now I think it's lost. Yeah, it's no, it's it's 100% gone now. I, I don't know what happened to it. Like, I had it, and now it's just freaking, of course, it just has to do this to me. But what are we looking at in terms of our gear right here? I'll keep these open up, get these redstone lamps, and I'm PVing. You guys better, like, look at this. We now have so many creeper eggs for this week when we start raiding. Because as you guys know, throughout the school week, that's, in, that's like when we like to raid. There's usually, like, not a whole lot of players online, and it's really, really good for raiding. So, right now, what do I want to apply this elite magical dust to the tank four book or 
the smoke bomb book. This one has a lot higher chance of destroying my stuff. So I'm gonna say like, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose the white scroll, right? So I'm gonna, wait, is this a helmet enchant? This is just a basic armor enchant. So wait, no, the smoke bomb, yeah. So the smoke bomb is helmet. It's got a low chance to pop, but there is still kind of a chance that it's gonna pop right now. I'm, hmm, I'm kind of nervous about that one right there. Is there anything on here we might want to try applying it to obsidian? See, I don't think it's worth popping it on the obsidian shield just because I don't think it's good enough. So what are we gonna use this? I mean, we gotta apply this either way. I wish we had some ultimate legendary dust. Like, this is kind of ticking me off that we don't. So, checking in my PVs. The good helmets that we have right now, I'm going to say it's this one. But this one's already got Enlightened 3 on it. So, we're not going to try to apply that. What kind of chest plate? Like, what doesn't have Enlightened 3? I mean, our boots got Enlightened 3. Our legs got Enlightened 3. So, and our helmets got Enlightened 3. So, the only thing is, we need a chest plate that we can apply this to. But right now, let's see. The leggings are actually already protected. So, let's try putting these on this. And... Oh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. Oh, and... Oh, broke the white scroll. Tank 5, no. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me? You piece of freaking crap. Okay, hold on. I'm putting this all up right now because right now there's an envoy going on. You guys know the drill. We gotta warp up to that. Come on, planes. Give us some luck. Oh, there's so many... Cha Where is everybody at? Why is nobody here? Oh, my gosh. I'm getting so much stuff. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. There's a pharaoh behind me. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. We were just being chased like crazy madmen right here. We're still being chased. No, we got to get out of here. It's too risky. This is too much of a hot zone. I'm still being chased, guys. Like, literally still being chased right here. <sighs> Gonna get this next one. Oh, my gosh. I'm so risky right now. What am I doing? I'm getting out of here. I've gotten so many chests. Oh, oh my gosh. That is the most envoy chest I've ever gotten in my entire life without getting hit. Look at the items we got. Okay. All right, let's let's check this out. We got we got some skill vouchers. <gasps> Simple soul tracker. Yes, awesome. I know those don't sell for a lot, but they're still really sick. Oh, talk about a good chest plate to start building off of, guys. Three elite enchant books, a sword with life still four. What the heck? <laughs> what is this luck right now? I don't even. I just do not even right now today. And there were so many more. There's there just so many people chasing me that I was just like, no. No, 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 like 110% cannot do this right now. So I'm gonna apply those skill vouchers. Plus 30 into repair, plus 30 into fishing. I, I, cause I never actually maxed out my repair that one time. I remember we were like really intense onto the grinding of repair and then we just like kind of never followed through with it. So let's see, what are there, anything in here worth using? I mean, Insomnia 5, there's, there's, I mean, let's be realistic right now. Simple books need a buff. There's just nothing that I can really find useful in these. But the unique books, ooh, double aquatic one. Ooh, yo. Not bad books, man. 100% to destroy. And Vampire 2, Guardian 6, Springs 2. Ooh. Okay, the Guardian 6 is not a bad chance. It's not a great chance, but I'm actually going to save these chief spawners for Vivar. I feel really bad right now about taking his out last time. I'm going to go ahead and put those back for him. Let's go back into Home Vault. What a legendary. I've just, I've never seen that many Envoy chests where, like, I just didn't get hit. I, I, it was just crazy. There was just so many of them right there. Okay, so let's go to the Forgotten Pleb Slayer. Let's pop open that simple soul tracker on this guy. Yeah, boy. Even though it's simple, I know it's not legendary, but hey, it is something. At least we now have a soul tracker on the Forgotten Pleb Slayer, which this guy has not seen nearly enough action lately. He needs way, way more action. I'm actually gonna put these cheap spawners down just for you, Vivar. Just, just to let you know that I still care about you, buddy. I'm sorry about blowing your sheep spawners up in the last episode. Um, the boots. Okay, let's see what we want to go ahead and tinker right now. The boots we want to get rid of. I would say the chest plate's not very good. The This is a pretty good chest plate. The only thing is I'm, I'm having a little bit of reserves about Spirit Link. I'm not sure how good that is. Um, this one right here, yeah, definitely going to want to give that to the tinker. I want to, let's give this to the tinker, that to the tinker. Oh, I didn't even know you could actually do that. I, I guess it does have an enchant on it. This... And do we want, yeah, we're not, I'm out of curiosity, how much? 3,800 XP, yeah, nope, nope, not happening. This sword right here, though, I feel like this would be, like, a decent backup sword to build off of if I, you know, it, it's not bad. So, I, because, like, it, you know, it's 800 XP, I, no, 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 we can't do this. This sword's got to go inside of here. It's just a decent sword, you know, it's just a decent sword. Um, oh, yeah, the, the, well, the hoe can definitely go inside there. We're not going to need that hoe. And now we've actually got to redo everything. Vampire 2, not a high enough success rate. Keeping the aquatic, going to keep these three books. I'll get rid of the, Gu I don't know, the Guardian 6 book is a decent success rate. I'm going to keep that one. We want to get rid of this and that and anything else, both of these. 
Ender Walker, and let's make sure we didn't put anything good in here. Yeah, nothing in here is looking good. And okay, sweet, so we can get that all salvaged up very nice and tight and neatly. Get ourselves some more XP. Very, very, see, it's just nice to do, man. And okay, of course, I should have expected that. I, I, I don't even expect dust to work anymore for me. But for a helmet right now, we have, yeah, the Mastermind. Now, a lot of people are probably gonna laugh at me, but Aquatic is really good on your helmet because like if you're in a water battle and you're raiding somebody you need aquatic on your helmet otherwise you're just gonna freaking sit there and drown so i'm definitely putting aquatic on the mastermind it just it needs to go in there and i would actually love to get glowing on it as well but that's kind of like a waste because we can just use like gamma i know everybody like ups their gamma i'm the only one who doesn't do that so i've really got to get into that now um and i want to put these spring i know our boots don't have gears three they've got gears two but they're pretty good boots because they have the enlightened three on there right so i want to try to put on these but there's no way in heck I'm trying to do this when this doesn't have a white scroll. We've got to get a few more white scrolls. But what can we... Okay, we're going to sell this Guardians book. I'm going to sell this for... Let's see. Maybe we can get 75000 for this. If we get 75000 for that, it would definitely be worth it. What are the books that we want to try to apply? I kind of like just spam them up here into my top PV. Enlightened 3, Leadership 5, Smoke Bomb. That's right. And Obsidian Shield. Some piece of armor needs to have Obsidian Shield. That's what I'm feeling like anyways. Right now, let's see, what are we going to try to put this on? Yeah, we don't want to try doing this. I think we, I mean, this has got a 1% destroy rate, right? Like, come on. This isn't going to pop on anything, is it? Like, I, I really hope not. Like, please, please don't pop on anything. I don't think it's going to pop this. We can give it a try, though. And it popped. Of course, I should have freaking known better. That freaking chance. This one right here is way too high of a, like, destruction rate. Don't think I'm going to use that. Honestly, I think I'm just actually going to sell this. Let's see if we can get maybe, like, 100000 for this. That would be pretty nice. What is it that we really need, though, right now? Pretty much just going to say we need some white scrolls. Like some white scrolls because Leadership 5 is really good. You do more damage the more allies which are nearby. Smoke Bomb allows you to escape whenever you get lower HP. Of course, Enlightened is just like one of the best books ever. We do not need Aquatic. And then our Springs book, I think we're going to save that one for now. Let's go back into PV4. Got the Aquatic over here. Put the Springs down here. And then all of our dust. Yo, I, I forgot. We like just kind of pile drove our dust like all over the place right now. Things are kind of crazy. And then I want to give, oh, this guy right here. This sword, you can, we can actually put this guy inside of here. I would love to have like something that's got like a really good, like, because I've got this black scroll still. And I haven't decided if I want to sell it or if I want to keep it. But I think I'm going to keep it, kind of hang on to it for a little bit longer until I find somebody that like I can use or something I can use it on. There's got to be something good that I can use it on here in the future. I'm going to get all of our dust situated as well. Get all these guys placed over here. Don't need this. Going to need these lamps. And then the Forgotten Plebs. Yeah, Forgotten Plebs, you stay on me, buddy. You are not going anywhere. Don't even try to hide. You are not going to be going anywhere. I also did kind of blow up a lot of our redstone lamp chests over here. I should probably fix those. I feel kind of bad right now. So, quest for the white scroll. Let's get that real quick. The average cow and I are about to make a trade right now for the white scroll. $400,000. He was also like, yo... Can I, like, uh, get a screenshot? I was like, yeah, sure, and just, like, hop right in. I love when people ask for screenshots. I think it's, like, super, super cool. And all the deal has now been sealed. Thank you very much, Mr. Average Cow. You are a gentleman and a squire. And since you are such a gentleman, I will go ahead and try to open up some of these books right here. Not open them up, but I'll try to apply some of these books right here. Um, so the ones that we're going to try to apply is, like, because, like, what do we want to do? It's like, oh, there's so many decisions right now. We want to try to apply this on this chest plate because it's a pretty good chest plate. We could definitely apply some good stuff to it. So why don't we try to apply the Enlightened 3 and the Leadership 5 to this one right here. We're going to white scroll it. Going to pop that white scroll on right now. And Enlightened 3, but this is the moment we're waiting for right now. 92% success rate, please apply. Let's go. Yes, Enlightened 3 and... Leadership 5, that is how we do it. Leadership 5, Enlighten 3, boys, the freaking noise. This is insane. I cannot believe those two went on without, like, a hassle like that. Look at this, babe. I'm, I'm trading the cow. Look at the average cow. This is what you cause, dude. This is, this is, this is because of you, cow. You are an amazing man, and I hope you continue going on and giving people your delicious milk. Look at that. Like, oh, baby, dude, all we gotta do is upgrade the Frozen on this, the Spiritling, and it's looking pretty freaking nice right now. Oh, super, super excited about that. Oh, did somebody just give me an MC Mo? You know I can't take this voucher, the beast. I'm so I appreciate your kindness, but I can't take your vouchers, Dad Govett. You are too nice for me. Actually, wait, what's our balance right now? We've got $869,000. Almost tempted to try to see if we can get that Springs boots. I don't know, I just know. I'm gonna wait off on the Springs, I would say, for now. 
One thing I need to look into buying is I need to get Hardened 3 in all pieces of my gear. So I might hit up our boy Dr. Candyman, see if he's got any Hardened 3 books. That book better apply, dude. If that book doesn't apply, I'm firing you. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a good chance. Yo, give me, give me the cactus. Get the fudge out of here. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I'm not even putting up oh, money. The what the heck? I almost oh, just yeah. scammed you, dude. I was <laughs> Yo, you almost just let me scam you trying. Would you put the Curse 5 book on your chest plate? Or sorry, um, chest plate. Chest plate. Chest plate. Chest plate. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Good. Boom. Oh, my gosh, dude. That was Curse 71 and 7, and it was white scrolled, and it broke the white scroll, not the chest. That book. that book just cost me like 550k triangle. <laughs> It's been a really eventful factions episode for today, but I don't think there's gonna be any raiding going on right now. It's kind of a Sunday, so a lot of people are online guarding their bases. We tried scouting out a few different raids, nothing that we could find though, unfortunately, that was like unguarded or unprotected or like where the players were not offline. But we did manage to get a lot of enchanting on this episode, surprisingly. We got a lot of economy. We socked up 16 creeper eggs. Overall, I think this is a really, really sick episode. But the one thing we gotta work on is trying to get a bunch of hardened three books. And as you guys know, hardened three makes it harder for your or makes basically the durability goes down a lot slower on your gear so we need four hard and three books and all four of those books need to apply so realistically we might need six or seven or even up to more than that just to get all of our uh, pieces of gear hard and three on so what i'm thinking about doing is like 50,000 to 100,000 xp every day at the beginning of an episode if i can because it does take like an hourish to grind which doesn't sound like a lot but like there's a lot of stuff going into making videos so i don't know if i can commit to that every day but i'm gonna try to but nonetheless thanks guys so much for watching this episode of factions hope you guys did enjoy if you did you can leave a thumbs up down below and i'll see you guys in the next episode of factions